Hey guys, welcome to Sugar MD Diabetes channel. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and today we are talking about why do diabetics crave sugar? Let's get to the bottom of it. Let's get started. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Uh, quickly, I have a quiz for you in the description below. So after you watch this video, take the quiz, answer the questions, the more questions you answer correctly, the higher the chance, and one in three will win a chapter from my book. It's going to be delivered electronically to you, a real chapter from my The Ultimate Diabetes book. So go ahead, finish the video, take the quiz, and win. So guys, you probably are like, you know what? I hate my life. I'm a diabetic. I know I need to eat less carbs and sweets, but damn, I love those things, man. It's just, I crave it, I love it, and I feel like I can eat the whole world, and I, just, I will still not be feeling full. Or I feel like I gotta have that dessert after dinner, man. I have to have it, otherwise I feel like I'm missing something. Or during the day, you're gonna be like, oh my God, I'm like, this excessive hunger is hitting me. What am I gonna do? I feel like I have to eat something. I have to carry some candy, some cookies, something, right? Well, well, here's the reason. So when you have diabetes, uh, actually it starts with insulin resistance, but when you have diabetes especially, your blood sugars rise, right? That's why we call this diabetes. Now your body creates this new threshold, new set. It's like alcoholism or, or smoking habit, right? So your body wants to have that glucose level once you get there, right? So if you are financially today here and 10 years from now, you have some good business going, you're up here. If you go back there, your wife is gonna be like, whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on here, honey? Right? So. Yeah, you're gonna say the same thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I cannot drive that car anymore. <laughs> so, we are just designed that way. You know, we set a threshold, and that threshold, when it changes, your body feels a difference. And that brings the cravings. Uh, just like when you're, if you're an alcoholic, you know, you feel like if you don't drink for a couple hours, you feel like you didn't drink it to get your levels the same. Now, what else? Another important mechanism in diabetes is, that after blood sugar hits like 200 to 20 level your kidneys are like the fire department it comes into play and says no 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 this is too much sugar we are getting rid of that this is not staying with you and then you can remember if you're still having high blood sugars uh you probably have it but if you don't you will remember those days when you were kind of living half time in the restroom trying to pee your guts out because your blood sugars were so high you know sometimes my patients come in like they're in the room like waiting for 10 minutes and they're already trying to go to the restroom i'm like um okay <laughs> so because they go to the restroom like pretty much every two hours sometimes right because if their blood sugar is high that's what happens so these are new patients not my established patients don't get me wrong okay so um but the bottom line is you know you're losing all this sugar what you're gonna do and then remember that threshold so so you have this threshold uh okay so now you're making more money but then suddenly you know money is being leaked from somewhere you know you, you, let's say your partner is stealing your money or or somebody you know you have a crack in your budget but you don't really know where that money is getting lost and you feel like you have to make more and more money to kind of pay the bill that's what your body is trying to do you know your cravings come to you because you're losing sugar in the urine and and then your blood sugar was 220 and then your your kidney is trying to pull it down and your your body wants to keep it at 220 because you have you have hit that threshold before and then as a result you feel like it's a vicious cycle you want to eat carbs now what is the solution we'll talk about that in the next video and i hope uh, that was effective guys and a few other things we just came to my mind before before you go uh, sugar cravings also has something to do with the uh, psychological addiction to the sugar if you have this habits of coming home and having a dessert after every night you know that psychological missing on the carbohydrates or sweets can may force you 
to reach out to those suites and not also not only that of course you know those suites actually uh, will make you kind of feel better temporarily and then later you feel like uh, s-h-i-t right but temporarily it gives you those endorphins the serotonin that the the, the 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 reward mechanisms are like coming to life it's like a you know the lights are lighting up and they go wow that's good that feels good and then, and then later the lethargy kicks in, the you know the brain fog and all that stuff comes in. You're like, what did I do? Uh, same thing with any addiction, right? So it feels good, and then later you crash, and then you feel like you need to get it back there, and then it's a vicious cycle. So yes, it makes you feel good, and as a result, it creates the addiction. Sugar is the biggest addiction you can think of. And as I said, you know, once that once you hit that threshold, so. The best thing is to avoid going there at all, right? So, but these are the most common reasons that people with diabetes end up being addicted to sugar. And in the next video, we will talk about how to overcome that. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.